Good morning, I'm George Young. And I'm still Craig Rumfield. This just in, Misha official quoted as saying, our business brings business. Seriously, what does that mean? I have no idea. No, no. Well, Craig, collectively, the booster clubs at Hickman High School, Rockridge High School, and Hallsville High School for decades have generated thousands of dollars annually through performing program sales functions at state events. For example, the state basketball championship, with paid attendance of 50,000 people, will generate millions of dollars in direct tourism for the local economy. Craig? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Let's, uh, let's go to Laura Steiner for some clarification on that. Uh, Laura, what was George actually talking about? I mean, seriously, how big is this thing? Thanks, Craig. Thanks, George. Actually, Misha is one of the biggest economic generators in our community in terms of tourism, and they bring more than 100,000 people to our community every year. Basketball is huge, and actually, wrestling is huge. Oh, <laughs> not that kind of wrestling, guys. Oh, did you see that? That was awesome. Sorry, Laura. Wrong clip. That's better. That's better. Where was I? Right, MSHSAA, Missouri State High School Activities Association, more belovedly known as MISHA, brings so many people and so much money to our community every year that we are blessed to have it here. And the most important thing to remember is that those events don't have to be here. The State High School Activities Association has a choice about where they go. So when you're looking at something that generates an excess of seven or eight million dollars a year in our community, and that's just the base economic impact, you have to ask yourself, is it important to keep it here? And the answer, of course, is a resounding yes. Thanks, Laura. Yeah, woo, I get it now. That is some serious business right there. Some business. Yes, well, let's turn now to Columbia Mayor Darwin Hyman for an analysis. Mayor? Thank you for having me. Misha is such an important asset to Columbia. Tetherball, do you know who I am? I'm the mayor of Columbia, and with all my athletic ability, you give me tetherball? Oh, now that's more fitting for a mayor. Misha supports more than sports. Festivals for arts, academics, music, debate are all held here in Columbia, and they're all good for the commerce of our community. Mayor, what can the community do to further support Misha and our students? Well, we need to continue to provide great venues. And in addition, we need to keep up the community promotion and enthusiasm as shown by volunteers. And to continue the emphasis on health and active living. Get people up out of their sofas and out of their cars and doing active things. Um, thanks, Mayor. Um, drive safe. Okay, goodbye. Hey, hey, where's my bike? Don! Oh, we gotta go. We were going to ask Don Laird some questions, but... But, I think he is busy answering some questions of another sort. Let's go to Mike Alden. Oh, Mikey, it's my boy. Go Tigers. Mike, just how huge is it to have these high school events on campus? Well, these events have been so important to all of us at the University of Missouri to be able to have that partnership with Misha and to be able to see that really develop over the course of a number of years. Hey, wait a minute. Is that really a sport that we're looking at right now? Uh, oh, okay, maybe that clip's a little bit better. What we're seeing uh, here now certainly really epitomizes that type of relationship that we've had for many years at the University of Missouri, but it goes way beyond just certainly the sporting aspect of it. It goes into areas that really have helped elevate the level and awareness of sportsmanship in our state and relative to state legislative matters. We've been able to partner with MISHA on that, and then certainly for us, it's so important for us to be able to have that collaborative efforts to be able to educate folks on NCA rules and regulations too. So as you can see, it's not just about sport, it's really a comprehensive relationship that MISHA has had with us at the University of Missouri to really help elevate all of us throughout the entire state uh, towards you know, sport and sporting efforts. The impact that MISHA has had, not only on Columbia, but certainly all of us in mid-Missouri and, and way beyond that, is felt also beyond that sporting activity and really goes in towards that economic impact. And I know folks have talked about that before in the past. And, and the reality of this is with the thousands of people that come into to Columbia, that flood into our area, that rent hotel rooms and eat at our restaurants and spend their monies in our community, certainly that never would happen without the relationship that we have with Misha. So as you can see, 
that re relationship goes way beyond just sporting activities. It goes beyond that comprehensive nature of sport in itself, in sportsmanship and NCAA rules and regulations and legislative matters. It really goes beyond that towards the fabric of who we are in mid-Missouri. And that's a community and an area centered around extracurricular activities and the opportunity for people to come, to have a good time, to be able to bond, and to be able to watch sport through the unique opportunities that MISHA presents. So it's exciting and it's a great opportunity for us to be able to talk about that partnership that we've had for many, many years, and we're looking forward to many years beyond this. So thanks a lot. Yes, Mike, good stuff, good stuff. Boy, it's Mike tight. Let's go straight to the number one cheerleader for Misha, Executive Director Dr. Kerwin Erhan for the play-by-play. -play. So good buddy Kerwin, uh, you know, what is it we're trying to do here today? Seriously, you know, what is it we can do to help all these great schools in this great state of ours? Well, Craig and George, the first thing that you can do is take the picture of Illinois down. We do not have bass fishing as of yet in the state of Missouri. But I do appreciate the question about what you can do for us. We are here today to ask the Columbia business community for your help, not only with financial resources, but also with people resources. We need help running our championship events when we're looking for monitors for our state music, for timers for quiz bowl, as well as individuals to serve on our sportsmanship committee, as well as our team host at state basketball. And what will we provide to those individuals for giving of their time? We'll provide the best seat in the house to watch the quality individuals from throughout the state who come to the championships to participate in our events. So like for funding, I guess you're looking for like those large mouth lunkers that are swimming around out there? Well, we don't mind landing that big fish. However, what we're here to talk about today isn't necessarily the large promotional things that we're asking of other corporate sponsors. We're trying to find a benefit for you, our local business community, a program that will allow you to participate in our association. Our director of development, Craig Law, is more than happy to put together a program that will work for you financially. We have 35,000 programs that go out every year at our state championship events. We also have a billboard that you could have access to that 34,000 cars pass each and every day here in the Columbia community, as well as 1.5 million visitors to our website each and every month. We can put that together in a plan that will work for you and be beneficial to you financially as well as exposure wise. Thank you, Dr. Erhan. Let's wrap things up with our highlights. Number one, tourism dollars. Number two, community partnerships. Number three, world-class facilities. Number four, positive benefits for participants. Number five, development of sportsmanship and positive role models. And last but not least, and my personal favorite, experiences creating lifelong memories. You know what, I totally get it now. Our business brings business. I get it, I get it, I get it, got it, get it, got it good. You know, your actions have just been totally inappropriate. Dude, what, you need to lighten up. You know, like you've been mean to me all day, and this is officially a hostile work type, workplace environment. I can't deal with this. I'm out of here. I'm going to take this and my little bag of balls and my referee guy and my basketball, and that is going to stay right there for now. But I am. Dr. Erhan, back to you. Roll that sumo video again.